Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be about my favorites, my favorite makeup and hair products. Um, I will be telling you guys why I love them. And I also did pick up some new um, makeup products that I wanted to try. And hopefully I can give you a good review later on of how much I love them or hate them. And um, so yeah, I hope this video can help you on your next purchase for your next good makeup and hair product. So um, let's begin. So don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs okay. up. Let's begin with product number one. I do, I did pick up this Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser and I didn't know what to think about it because I do have oily skin and I was a little scared that it was just going to make me look more oily but I have been using it for maybe three or four days now and I love it so far. So um, this is new, I like it. and. I hopefully I can stay with it because it's way more cheaper than the other brand that I've been using for my huge pores. <laughs> um, my next product is L'Oreal True Match and I am wearing it in W4 Natural Beige. I feel like it gives me really good coverage and, and they do have a whole bunch of selections of different shades. It's like you can never not find your shade in the shadow. I do have the Naked Urban Decay Basics and I feel like you can just not go wrong with this palette. It has everything like all neutral colors. So if you are a beginner on applying makeup or you just go more for the neutral color, or if you're an oily person, the Naked Urban Decay Basic one is perfect. I am in love with it. I don't think I can live without it. Um, I've had it for a quite a while and it's still pretty full. Like it goes a long way. So I really love this one. And the other eyeshadow I did purchase was from NYX and I got it on the color Ultra Pro Mania and it's a loose eyeshadow. That is what I have on today and I am in love. I think I'm gonna go get the rest of the freaking colors because it's so amazing and it, it was really cheap I think and it's just wonderful. Next is my HD NYX concealer. I got it in yellow and it's HD photo, photogenic concealer and I only used it today so I'm barely trying it but so far I like it. It does not seem too heavy. It seems like kind of like too watery but it does cover a lot and it does not crease in your little wrinkles under your eyes. So I'm liking it so far. Next one of the new products that I did get was from a mascara and it's called Voluminous False Fiber Lashes. Waterproof and OMG, I think it's from Maybelline. I'll look, but I think it's from Maybelline and I love it because it's gold. And um, I do like to buy only mascaras that are waterproof because I do like my lashes to be curled all throughout the day, especially when it's hot outside like it is today. But um, so yeah, I put it on today. That's what I'm wearing today. Um, I'm liking it. So let's see how it goes. For my bronzer, I did use the Pop Beauty today and it came on an Ipsy little package that they sell. Well, not sell, but sent to you if you subscribe for like $10 a month or whatever. But um, I am not subscribed to that yet, but one of my co-workers, she knows that I love makeup, so she gave me this and I've been loving it. Um, it does look a little shimmery and I didn't want to use it at first again because of my oily skin, but I've been using it and I like it, no problem. So. Um, I do give it a thumbs up as one of my favorites right now, but I cannot live without my NYC bronzer. It's matte, of course. Give it up for matte stuff products. Um, so yeah, it's really, really cheap. You can find it at Walmart. I think it's like not over $3, and it's one of my favorites. Cannot live without it. Uh, for blush, I have been going to this. I do have a lot of blushes though, but I seem like I do reach more out for this one. And it's almost kind of getting over with, but um, it's from the, what is it called? Um, Physicians Formula. And it's in rose, and I am so in love with it. And it's pink, and I just love it. So my favorite blush right now. For my moisturizer for my lips, I do love these baby lips. Um, you can get in them different colors, like tinted colors, and you know, like I think there's some new ones where like they make your lips all minty and feel tingly and stuff. 
But for now, I've just been using a clear one to moisturize my lips before I add any lip gloss or lipstick to my lips. So yeah, I do like this baby lips. And for, I've been using it for eyebrows, for my liner, for my bottom, for, for my waterline and everything and so I've been liking it so far. I have been using it for like about a week now because it is new. This is one of my new products that I have just purchased. It's called from Wet n Wild from Fergie and it's in brown. I also have the black one. I feel like they're just so creamy and they are so easy to put on and so I've been liking it and I guess it's one of my favorites but when I'm not using this one on my eyebrows, I do go back to the e.l.f. eyebrow kit which I didn't bring with me, but that is an also another favorite of mine. But for now, I do like Wet n Wild from Fergie. And for your finish spray, I just purchased the NYX Matte Finish and I am liking it, girls, um, because once again, I'm oily, so I wanna stay as matte as possible throughout the day. And so um, this was not expensive at all. I think I wanna say that it's maybe like $7.99 and a little bottle goes a long way so don't think that it's just because it's so little it's gonna be over with like in a week or two no I think this might be enough for almost a month and so but I will let you know I did purchase it like maybe like I want to say a week ago and um, so yeah I give it a thumbs up for this one this is my favorite right now so if you're oily or even if you're not oily I think this is a pretty good finishing spray for anybody and for lip glosses I have tons of lip glosses lipstick um, moisturizers, chapsticks, whatever. I just love them. But my favorites right now, it's again another NYX product. I am so in love with these butter glosses. I did get only two shades. I have the Cream Brulee, I hope I'm saying that right, and the, I don't know how to say this one, so just read it whenever I put it on the screen. But um, these two are so, pretty when you put them on. I know that it might be a little hard to see it in my lips right now, but um, they're super pretty. Um, they're not sticky or anything. I just love them. They're called Butter Gloss and from NYX. And I think they might wear like $4.99. So it's not too bad, girls, but um, they have lots of colors to choose from. And so these ones are my favorite for now. And I think that might be it for cosmetics, for makeup. So. Let's move for on to hair products. I don't have a lot because I always change hairsprays. Um, if I do use mousse, I always like purchase a different mousse every time I go to the store and I buy one. For shampoos and conditioners and all that good stuff, I'm always changing it up too. So um, I'm only gonna show the ones that I always go back to almost no matter what because I feel like they're just the bomb. But um, so yeah. So the first one is I'm gonna go ahead and so the first one is right after I get out of the shower, I like to put this on um, just mostly on my tips because I do have some split ends most of the time. <laughs> but um, I do like to use this one right after the shower, um, concentrate it on my tips and just whatever I have left over, kind of just put it all over. But I also just use one or two pumps out of it because if you do more than that, you're gonna, when your hair dries, it's gonna look really oily and you don't want that. So, but it's the Nourishing Coconut Milk, and they have the shampoos and the, and the conditioner and all that good so stuff that goes with it, but I'm just really I'm loving it. I always go back to it. It goes a really long way because I think I've had this for more than a month. I'm going to say more than two months, and it's not even halfway yet because uh, I also do just do one or two pumps, but yeah, I love this one. And for hairspray, I like for my hair to look more natural and not so like stiff, I guess. And so I like the L'Oreal Boosted High Lift Creation Spray. Um, it does give you a little bit of a volume if that's what you're kind of looking for, but I use it mostly as hairspray and it's something like this. And I like it because it's like, it looks so natural, you know? Like you have hairspray, but it looks like you don't. So I really like this one. And for heat protectant, when I do use my hot tools, like my hair curler, my straightener, whatever, I always do use my Tresemme heat protectant spray. Um, I have tried other ones, but I feel like this one helps me out more. And so this is what I like for now. And I always go back to it, so I guess this is my favorite. It's been my favorite for a long time. 
So yeah, my Tresemme, he protects it. And um, like I said, I don't use anything else like hardcore because I don't dye my hair. So I don't do anything for like keep um, color protecting or anything like that. And I'm always switching it up with the conditioners, the shampoos and everything. So for my hair products, it's just that pretty. So that's it, that's for my video. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed my favorite slash newbies. I hope it wasn't too confusing. Um, I hope it helps you on your next purchase. Um, I will be trying to make a new video um, later on in the future with the new products that I did get to give you a more better review. So yeah, so don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, bye.